Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for March 28th through April 3rd, 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh. If you don't know your moon, rising, or Venus, I highly encourage you to look up your free birth chart because they are very important in your love reading. So I'm going to tip you on down here so we can get started. That was quick. The Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. Holy cow. Air signs. The Two of Cups. The Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Nine of Wands. Wow. Your guys' outcome for the week. Is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, the Eight of Wands. And the High Priestess. Your guys' is bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Knight of Rods. Clarified with the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant. All right. Holy cow. Air signs, are you in love? I most definitely think you have found somebody who is a very beautiful love match for you. Um, somebody came into your life very quickly or you entered someone else's life very quickly. This is um, a very passionate connection that you have recently um, formed with somebody. This person um, brings you balance or you bring them balance. The two of you, the energy that you share um, into the relationship is just um, amazing. It's very balanced. It's very... Um, you get as much as you give, and there isn't really a, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You really don't even have to think about it. It just naturally happens. This person um, came in very fast, bringing you this balance, bringing you a reason um, to look forward to love, or you to them. This could be a fire sign or an earth sign, but um, you really feel like this person is somebody that you could spend the rest of your life with. Um, this person is also very connected to... Um, to the universe or um, you are. One of you or both of you is very spiritually connected. Um, and this is a very, very spiritual um, connected connection between the two of you. Uh, very positive for you, air signs. All right, so let's see why the Ten of Pentacles is here. So like I said, you see this person as somebody that you could truly um, spend the rest of your life with, that you could truly build a home, build a life, build a family, and have it all with. Um, this, uh, this energy that you are dealing with, air signs, you um, really want to build a life with this person. You're feeling very stable, very confident, very assured in um, this connection and you're just coming in at a very high vibration because the two of you do this for each other. You bring each other's vibration up. Um, it's like you want to be better for this person. You have manifested this connection, air signs. You had planted the seeds of intention. Um, you are currently weeding out your garden. You are currently um, focusing on what you can do to make this connection stronger, to make this connection better. Um, yeah, and this is going to find a lot of success. You could also be somebody who is in the public eye. You could um, be connected with somebody that's in the public eye. But um, like financially, the two of you are going to um, be very successful together. You guys could um, work, uh, you guys could build something together, um, travel together, um, but it's going to be successful, whatever the two of you um, create. The two of you. Um, uh, can like 
whatever it is that, that, that you want to create with this person is going to bring you success, air sign. Because this is your Ten of Cups love. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. So amazing for you. This person brings you so much emotional happiness. You are just feeling on cloud nine right now, air signs. Why is the Ten of Cups? Yeah. And you should because this you are going to create a new world with this person. Um, you are going to be at your highest vibration um, with this person. Like I said, the two of you naturally raise each other's vibration. The two of you bring the best of each other out. Um, this is a soulmate for you with the six of pentacles or six of cups and the six uh, or two of cups plus the six of pentacles. This is a past life soulmate. This is somebody who was destined to come into your life. Um, and this person has just as much love and affection for you as you do um, them. They see you as uh, somebody that they also can build a new life with that can be um, successful, that can work and create at making this relationship work no matter what. Um, and also, like I said, I believe for this group of you, the two of you are going to work together. I don't believe you work together now, but you are. You're going to create something together that's going to be very successful. Um, and it could be spiritually with this um, Hierophant. Uh, the person that you are dealing with, they were not looking for you when you um, came into their life very quickly with this Knight of Rods. Either you were not looking for them or they were not looking for you. They were just concentrating on themselves, um, investing in themselves, their education, their finances, just really trying to bring their own vibration back up. They could have gotten out of a relationship um, with somebody from their past and they are really just focusing on themselves. And the two of you manifested this connection into reality with the seven of pentacles there. Your intentions, your manifestations brought the two of you together. So this kind of took this person by surprise. Um, and with the lovers here, the two of you are, like I said, the two of cups, the six of cups and the lovers get out of here. This is crazy. Um, the universe has put the two of you together um, right under the ten of cups. This love is so strong, so intense and so pure that, um, yeah, it's going to bring you right into a stable relationship. Um, this is a twin flame soulmate connection for this group of you. This is going to build, uh, bring you in stability. The two of you could be moving together. The two of you could um, be finding a home together. But this most definitely is a strong foundation built on spirituality, built on um, pure emotions, pure love, um, backed by the universe, backed by that um, Archangel Michael um, overseeing the relationship and bringing in this um, stability, this home for the two of you to build um, whatever it is that the two of you are going to create, whether it be relationship or um, relationship and uh, and something that the two of you will like do on your soul's path, your soul's purpose. The person you're dealing with could be kind of um, hesitant about moving into this connection just because of their past, because of a relationship that has failed them um, before. But um, this person at the end of the day is going to defend you and the connection um, with everything they have. They're not going to um, walk away when things get hard. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they are a lot up in their head about, um, I hope this doesn't fail. I hope this person isn't, like, is this person for real? Like, this relationship is so freaking strong and, like, magical feeling that this person almost thinks it, it's too good to be true. Like, how can this happen? How can this fall into my life? When I was just minding my own business, uh, getting my own self put together, and then this comes falling into my lap very quickly, bringing balance and a very strong spiritual commitment as well as a very strong emotional commitment. So this person is just kind of having thoughts about, um, is this too good to be true? But um, have no fear. This connection is uh, its not going anywhere. This is an amazing uh, connection. The two of you will, in the outcome, uh, nurture the connection together. The two of you will do your part to make this relationship work. Um, this is an equal give and take. Uh, the two of you just bring each other so much happiness, so much stability, so much love and uh, happiness that it's just amazing. 
and it's being clarified with the Queen of Wands. So yeah, this person wears their heart on their sleeve. They're very confident. They're very um, good looking. They're very um, sought after. Everybody wants to be with this person. Everybody loves this person because they're genuine. They're um, confident. They're very loving. They wear their heart on the sleeve, but yet they nurture. They know how to run a household, but they know how to nurture the family. This person is the total package air sign. Um, they could be a fire sign or an earth sign. Um, you could have met this person online. This is a lot of internet communication, a lot of messages being sent back and forth. Um, yeah, and this came after um, you had to emotionally close the door to somebody of your past. And when you did and you chose to love yourself first and close that door to somebody who is emotionally exhausting or somebody walked away from you, air sign, you could have been in a situation where somebody walked away from you and, um, and walked away from this family situation. You could have had a spouse ask for a divorce. You could have asked, had a long-term partner say they no longer wanted to be together. And when that happened, you had to go deep within and find that love for yourself, find that balance in your emotions. And when that did, everything came, um, came in for you. And this communication opened up to somebody, um, I'm seeing online. Yeah. Um, messages, a lot of messages, um, are going to be coming in back and forth in the next week. This person is also very connected to source. This person could be psychic. Um, they are very in tune with their spiritual. Whoa. They are very in tune with their spiritual side. Um, <clears throat> this is a very deep, deep connection. Uh, that is the two of you are bonded together by a soulmate connection. This is not a negative connection. That's not a toxic connection. When it comes in with the high priestess um, and the hierophant, this is so spiritual, so deep, so connected to God, so connected or whoever your higher power is. This is a very, very, very strong spiritual connection, emotional connection, sexual connection. This person is very connected to source. Like I said, they could be very psychic. You are very connected to source. You could work in, um, like, you know, work within the church or, or however it is that you connect because it is here twice, um, in your outcome and your shared energy. So, um, when you put the two of this together and then you put in that deep soulmate bond with a deep sexual connection, plus you throw the emperor in there, this connection is out of this world. Um, amazing. And it will be very successful. This air signs, this is the best reading by far. I don't even remember the last reading I had like this that was so spiritually centered, that was so connected to source, that was so successful that you um, brought this in, that you, uh, the two of you are connecting in such a strong, strong, strong way with all these major arcana as well. Um, air signs, you have a beautiful week coming in for you. Um, just be a little bit patient with your person. They could think this is too good to be true, but know that this is, um, your future. This is everything that you have been hoping and wanting for, um, because Archangel Michael is blessing you with this connection that is seen, um, overseen in a spiritual way and is going to bring you a stable home, a stable foundation, a stable commitment, um, and with a lot of balance and love uh, shared between the two of you. So congratulations, Air Sign. You guys have an amazing, amazing week coming for you guys. I wish I was an Air Sign at this point. So um, you guys, yeah, just be patient. If your person kind of pulls back a little bit, if they're not, um, not wanting the relationship, they're just thinking it's too good to be true. But at the end of the day, they will see the lovers and the four of wands coming in for them. And this will be a very, very successful relationship. So hold on tight to that person. Remember to, um, nourish your relationship, contribute to your relationship and, um, it won't go wrong. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful week. God bless.